So 291. Tonight we're reviewing Anyone But You. Bad idea, right? The Shakespearean Much Ado About Nothing twist-ish uh, with, I mean, it was clearly that. Anyway, with Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Uh, we'll talk about it. We are going to get into it. But first yeah. things first, yeah. shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties of movies that are better than this. Um, <laughs> second thing, second, make sure to subscribe, yeah. click that bell, share, whole, oh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, those places. Mm, right. So, Anyone But You, a movie that I dragged myself out to the theater to see because the marketing was so good and then I felt duped. And was disappointed in uh, that experience. And, yeah. and then I uh, greatly lowered Andrew's expectations. And Correct. he finally watched it when, when it, was it was released available. on streaming. Yeah. I would say yeah. good on Sony. Oh, That's yeah. who I mean, released it. They did they, a gang but like, like a rom-com breaking $200 million. 2023 was the year of, of deceptive gold. marketing. Deceptive and fabulous marketing. Sure. Because I multiple, multiple, multiple times in the theater this year was like, what? Why? Uh -huh. Except for the Pope's Exorcist. <laughs> oh, they did a great job. <laughs> Cannot wait for more. Oh my god. Give me more. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but you never know. Okay. There's probably gonna be more of this. So in what, in what way? I don't well that no, you're right. There okay. Be, there I was like be. like a sequel, but no, now they're doing a different couldn't. Shakespeare yeah, comedy. I, I, I don't know. Would that be weird? That would they're be just like now see, okay. Okay. A couple yeah. that's stuck in a world where they're constantly in different Shakespearean rom-com adaptations too too meta. It's too meta because Shakespeare's already pretty complicated. Yes. And I will say this, when you have a perfect farcical comedy of errors and you don't follow through with the details, yeah. the whole thing's a goddamn mess. The, uh, a goddamn mess. This movie had two things that really yeah. did it in for me. Uh. One, the acting. Oof. Really awful. It was the first time in my life that I felt fire and I had to blow it out. I know a little bit about that. I was really hurt when you left. Real blah. Blah. The, Real blah. The line delivery, even from actors I know to be good. Yes! What a waste of Rachel we Griffith! We're just so grateful, not only for your incredible hospitality, but for bringing into the world your beautiful daughter. So, as they say in our country, abondanza. Like, I know Rachel Griffiths is good. Yeah. I've seen her be great. Yeah. So what the fuck was going on here? Because she was delivering lines, and I was like, the fuck? That's the take you used? That was... I felt like I was insane. So that was the f number one. So number one, acting, line delivery. So I guess that's directing. Zero really, chemistry. He took it out. And none chem no chemistry. <laughs> none chemistry. None at all. <laughs> but also the other thing that really drove me crazy was like the adaptation of Much Ado About Nothing. Yes. So there, there was at a certain point in the movie, I was like, is this supposed to be fucking much ado about nothing? And oh, well, then I spent a long time, because I didn't know ahead of time. Mm. It wasn't marketed like... No. But I started to get bogged down, and I realized it at a certain point. And then I was distracted the whole time because I kept being like, oh, okay, so then that means that they're supposed to be, you know, that's well, Hero, right. and that's yeah. so-and-so, and da 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 or whatever, and that's Don John. Okay, okay, but then none of it made sense and no. wasn't any good. And no. when you're doing a, I'm overhearing this, but I know that that they're overhearing because of the da 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 da. Yeah. You, it has to be, it has to be fucking perfect. And guess what? We already have one that's fucking perfect. Come hither, Leonardo. What was it you told me of today? That your niece, Beatrice, was in love with Signor Benedict? I did never think that lady would have loved any man. She does indeed. My daughter says so. My daughter is sometime a fear that she will do a desperate outrage to herself. 
It is very true. I'm just gonna go rewatch that. I think that's why it made me so extra mad because mm. it's like my favorite. Oh, right, right. So I was like, ah! So yes. Well, because well, so like, it it's, started um, with like, there's so she leaves his apartment oh. and it's like Shakespeare quote on the wall. And I was like, I, I knew it was. Also, it's been a hot month and a half or two since I saw this. Great. So I, I'm like mostly remember. Yeah, it's, I, I took a few notes. What happened? It doesn't really matter. But it start like it starts and she leaves his apartment and it was like Shakespeare quote graffiti on the wall. And I feel like if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. it was pretty clear to me that it was much to do about nothing. I'm, but I, I think, think you I was, already told me. So maybe, maybe that was it. Anyway, I was distracted because um, I didn't understand anyone's motivation. Well, sure. And I couldn't get into, the whole movie is, aren't they hot? Yeah, you're right. I know. Look how hot they are. Yeah. She has great tits. Look he at her. He has so many abs. He's got all the abs. They're both so hot. So you're definitely invested in he whatever. He has all of the bronzer. It was a lot. I'm sorry. At one point, he just looked like a bronze statue. I was like, what's happening? Like, he's shiny. Like, it's, it's like metallic. It's like, eh. <laughs> um, well, especially because there was one time he was just holding a pose for a really long time. And I was like, he hasn't moved. What's well, happening? He's just tense. It was the taut. perfect example <gasps> of, you know what it felt like? What? If it had macroed out mm -hmm. and the end was like a horny teenager was playing with Barbies. Mm. It all and makes sense. And they had just read much. They about just nothing. read much. They just did it for their school play. Yep. And suddenly it all makes sense sure. because they're all like vapidly like, "You're hot. I'm hot. Let's yep. fuck." You yeah. know. Oh, oh, smush, smush. Now we're naked. It was very that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that makes more sense now. Oh God. There was a lot of this movie that I hated. I'm not gonna lie. I really didn't care for it. I'm so glad because I thought. Am I being too hard on this movie? Am I arbitrarily being mad or something? But it really just, it was so close. Like it could have been good. It could have been. And that's what makes me nuts. Yeah. And so it's directed by Will Gluck. Right. Who did Easy A, another yeah. movie that I don't love that people sure. love. That's I, fair. There's a lot in it that's fun. Right. Stanley Tucci. I got it. I got it. Patricia I Clarkson, it. you know, Emma Stone's always, you know, she's like doing her thing. Yeah. You know, it doesn't come together for me fully. I only watched it once. I feel like I remember liking it, but I have never watched it again. Yeah, uh, but people love that movie. Yes. And that's fair enough, whatever. Yeah. But it doesn't click for me. And it's the same, because that's based on Scarlet Letter, you know. Oh, right, right, right. No, but I think... So it's a similar thing where I'm like, it was almost there. Yeah. He did um, those Peter Rabbit uh, CGI movies. He did the Annie remake that we didn't like. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. Great, great. And Friends with Benefits. Didn't like that was very good. you know again it was like two hot people being hot right looking hot yeah not, I don't I don't think he's for me on. I don't think it's for me and I, I like the the in terms of the like filmmaking directing it was fine it was serviceable like you know nothing special but like it was not terrible it was like a TV movie I guess and I think this was there probably was no artistic vision for me if you told me this was originally gonna be like a TV streaming movie or whatever yeah I'd be like yeah that makes sense and then they just really decided to release it theatrically sure. okay I mean good for them they made about they made a bunch, bunch of, of fucking money. money so it starts and did you have any idea what was going on with her she's walking into this cafe right. there's all this she had to go to the bathroom she has so to go to the bad bathroom. but then she's just kind of standing there and I'm like what's happening what is so urgent. So much. And then she's on the phone. She's dumping a lot of dialogue at yep. us. I'm yep. not really sure what's going on. Yep. And they have a flirty, flirty time. Hallie, I just met this guy. And I don't know. It was something. This filmmaking seemed like they had been dating for months. This montage of... Oh, of them over the course of the day. They, so I was like, is this trying to tell me that they met and this is magical and now they've dated for a while and then whatever? Right. And it was like, that was all one day. Okay. Yeah. I have to reset my expectations for what's happening. Then these two absolutely gorgeous cut people share a grilled cheese sandwich that is slathered in butter. And I was like, I'm sorry, but that's just not... There was just so many things where they were like, you believe us. Just trust us on this one. I was like, no. He loves grilled cheese. Oh my God, I'm so in love with grilled cheese. I was like, you're not. Oh, and the bread. It's grilled cheese night. Why are you lying to us? And then- Stop. Your they, whole personality yeah, is I'm hot. Sure. So that's fine. Don't pretend to like carbs too. <laughs> it was just like, there was so many just like, things that just like clunked where I was like, no, no. 
You got cheese and bread. You didn't miss one ingredient. I mean, she does say, well, it, hurt. it was a weird, oh, you're hot girl you're, muscle or something? Right, he, oh, you don't do any cardio, you just do... You have stuff. hot girl muscles, and I was like, I don't know what that means. If she said, like, oh, you're, like, insta muscles or, like, insta was, hot, I maybe that remember. would make sense, right? Like, oh, he just has, like, the muscles required to look good on an Instagram and not... Why are you so out of shape? You have, like, a 10 pop. I'm not out of shape. I've been 295, 300 once. I just don't do cardio. Oh, my God, you're hot girl fit. I'm not hot girl fit. I, it was something like that, but... Um, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. So then they have a magical night. Now this was, I mean, I laughed so fucking hard in the theater at, at this movie. Yeah. Like not with it. Right. At it. At it. She's looking around his apartment and she's like, oh, this looks like a serial killer's apartment. Which I had said just before, but I think it's because you showed it to me. Probably. I think it was incepted in my brain. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this horrible apartment? Well, there's bicycles everywhere. There's an ATM with like a chain, a chain around it. it. I was well, like, what's his job? He's like, oh, Fine. I have to work. Finance. I have these computers with numbers Finance, and Finance, trading, hacking, stock, video games. Because he says something like, oh, yeah, well, it was stock, Goldman tra Sachs trading. or something. Oh, you know, I no. did meth. We will talk oh, about we're... it. <laughs> nope. One time I did meth, I was like, are we going to address this? Oh, we're not. Okay. Who's doing Cause... meth at someone's wedding? <laughs> are you on Coke? It smells like coffee here. It's like meth. I'm guessing. No, I'm not. I worked at Goldman, partner's wedding. Do what you do. Jesus, dude, who are you? I'm a man trying to figure this out. Goldman's like, this is not, and it was, okay, I, I know we said, we're, we're just gonna talk about it right now. He's like, oh, the coffee in, in, in Australia is the best in the world. No, 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 okay, no, 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 sure, no, no. we get it. But like, and it really is. I, it's really good. <laughs> that but, was true and accurate. Yeah. Fuck, that is good. Oh, this coffee is like meth. Meth. A Paul Rudd type could have pulled this off. Or, not that I would know what meth is. I mean, I did do it that one time. But huh, anyway, you know, crazy things happen at Goldman Sachs. Blah, 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 or whatever. But still, I feel like the line should have been cocaine. Of course. Of course. You know, oh, I did coke at the Goldman Sachs wedding. That tracks. Yeah. Oh, I did meth at the Goldman Sachs wedding? Too far. Too, you, 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 you took it, it a step too far, it, movie. It's the like montage from Wet Hot. It's like, oh no, yeah. oh no, it went too far. <laughs> it went too far. This now is not believable for me. Oh, uh, right. So she's yeah. like, oh my God, what, what? Are you going to wrap me up in a suitcase and kill me? The way it's shot is so bad, too. So bad. She's, I mean, what's that giant wrench? Cut to insert shot of enormously hilarious giant wrench. And I'm like, oh boy. And he says, why do you have a giant wrench? My mom gave me that. She said, no matter how broken something is, there's always a way to fix it. My mom gave that to me. So I know that whenever something's broken, it can be, be fixed. fixed with this giant, giant wrench. <laughs> and it was was the stupidest like um endear me to the character like yep. oh he has a mom <laughs> who died we find out later was that bullshit about your mom what the story about the giant wrench i thought it might have been a line you tell all your one night nothings i mean that was the other thing so there's like one little line of dialogue with his friend who's yeah. like oh you don't tell anyone about your mom right what you doing with that why oh, you got the giant wrench you told her about your mom, bro? You don't tell nobody about your mom. We don't hear about it for an hour. Yeah. They're at the pool. Yeah. And Dermot McDermott. Oh, yeah. It's trying to learn, how, trying to to learn how to dive. And apropos of absolutely fucking nothing, <laughs> Rachel Griffith says, maybe your mom can teach him no. how to dive. <laughs> maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. Well, she, she passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry. Is that what she said? <laughs> yes, but he said, oh, my mom taught me how to die. Did he say that? Yes. I did not hear that part, and I was like, where He's, the fuck did that come he from? He was like, my mom told me to like really? focus my mind on something else, or my mom would do something. He did oh. say my mom did something. My mom taught me this trick. If you pretend like there's a string from your nose to your toes, you just kind of maintain that position. That helped him learn how to dive. Okay, I and that's why Rachel Griffith is like, maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. Like, bah, 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 bah. But she's dead. Um, ah. But we never get the sad backstory. He's never like... We never get any backstory. Well, no, but he's never like, yeah, that was, and that's why I'm... Right, no, that's but why I'm, I'm so... There was nothing. I, I, I don't want to like, lose anyone I love so again, funny. right? No. I didn't hear the, the diving part, that. and I was just like, where in the <laughs> fuck did that come from? <laughs> maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. Does that have to do with anything, bitch? <laughs> Good. 
What? Good. I okay, love it. great. You were distracted by his abs. Bing. So they have this magical evening. Yeah, and then they fall asleep together on the couch did in all they of their clothing. Fuck? Belt on, so no. Okay. So Although, I'm, but like, did they fuck and then and put they, their clothes back I on? Look, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know what was going on. Because they did make it seem like they fucked. Well, they're so invested. So they did or didn't fuck. We don't know. She wakes up in the morning and is like, oh my God, I've caught feelings. Yeah. I'm a too, this is too much. I'm, I'm going to leave. Bounce. Then. Not leave a note. Not leave a note, but I am going to leave the door open. Then she's like, what am I doing? He's so hot. Right. I should go back and be with him. Yeah. Meanwhile, his friend has come over. Yeah. And she overhears because the door to his apartment, apartment is open and she eavesdrops on yeah. them and says, like, there could have been a a more logical way for her to overhear this. Yeah. I was just like, what are we doing? Right. What are we doing? Right, and he's like, she's she's damaged goods or whatever. Right, so he's, the friend is like, oh, you like her? And he's like, no, I don't. I, I have yeah. to act like a macho man. Uh, well, and also, oh, she left and didn't She say, left, so I'm, I'm hurt yeah. and wounded and, sure. oh, and she's you know, a mess. Fine. Six months later. Two years later. No, it wasn't. Yes. It was two years? She said, it's Stop been right two now. Years. Are you fucking kidding me? No. No. Because it's been two years since we met. Because no. I remembered because you said something. That's even worse. And she two said, years? Two years. They've been holding on to this. We met for one day, maybe didn't even fuck, fell asleep together, and I've not been able to move on or do anything. Then I'm gonna get a drink and toast to never seeing you again. Cheers to that, bro. Aside from that. And I'm still so so angry yeah. and enraged. Yeah. I'm ruining my sister's, sister's wedding. wedding. It's not fair. Hey, what? You're not fair. What's wrong That's with you? Me. Just stop. Oh, oh God. Oh. 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 Remind me, because I'm not that familiar with Much Ado About Nothing. Great. Does it take place at a wedding? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because it feels like rude. Back then, whatever, it's less like we spent our entire life savings on this fabulous on whatever. Everyone and... having to fly themselves out to Australia. Also, I was like, first of all. And other people are trying to break up the wedding and sure. there's more drama going right, on. Right. And uh, Benedict and Beatrice aren't, their jabs are more like sexy, like, go fuck mm. yourself, you fucking fuck. But in, you know, doth fuck yourself, you fucking fuckist, you know. I had rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man swear he loves me. God keep your ladyship still in that mind, so some gentleman or other shall scape a predestinate scratched face. <laughs> Scratching could not make it worse, and for such a face as yours were. <laughs> and everyone's like, ooh, snap! Yeah. <laughs> and they're not like, oh, my wedding, you know, like, sure. poor me, oh, right. the drama. Yeah. Like, it's like, ooh, the drama, ooh, this is spicy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yes, but there are people who are actively, <clears throat> Keanu Reeves, I will take a moment to play the clip because sure. it never is not funny. <laughs> I had rather be a canker in a hedge than a rose in his grace. In this, though I cannot be said to be a flattering, honest man, it must not be denied, but I am a plain dealing villain. It's so good. You should yeah, be watching. it. Yeah. Um, and it's like Italian countryside. Right, like, right. Well, I ooh, remember like that. These grapes and we're all like yeah. bronzed and just like, yeah. Right. Well, because I, and I remember we watched and reviewed, I think, the, oh God, the black and white one. What, what's his face? Did we? We did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joss Whedon did. Joss Whedon. Yeah. yeah. And I remember liking that. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. But yeah, none of the playful, none of it landed because you can't shoot a farce without the details. Well, right. Also, what really, so the second thing that drove me crazy yeah. was the Shakespeare notness of it. Sure. But it was like semi Shakespearean where they'll be like every now and then they'll toss in a Shakespeare line. Or they'll either write it yeah. or they'll be like, here, someone has a line of Shakespeare. He wants us to tell him how much he likes him. So he lets his guard down and goes to her. Some Cupid's killed with arrows and some with traps. That was good. I like that. That's good. I just made it up. So he needs to go to her, drop his drawers and say, come to Papa. And then they'll be like, that's really good. And they'll be like, I just made that up. And I was like, they did that twice in the movie. Do you remember that? No, I spaced out. They would be like, here. I was too distracted by her bras not fitting. Well, I didn't notice it as much as you did. I, I, I kept looking because you, you mentioned why it. Why would you? No, because you mentioned it. No, and but I was like, like, why would you? you? But anyway, yeah. But why would you? Why would I? Although her tits, I thought were good anyway. Her tits looked great. But, yeah. you know, it looked comfortable. Like, they didn't fit. There you go. But anyway. Anyway, there'd be like a line of Shakespeare where they'd be like, here's my character's line, blah, blah. Isn't that funny? And then it would never land. And no. then they'd be like, that was great. Oh, I just made it up. And I'm like, this is. Uh, offensive and terrible. 
Or it would be like a, a card, you know, it was like on the spine of the book. It was like some chapter of oh, the, you know. I think at that point I was so like, uh, that I just. It was just really like. Yeah. So quick commercial break and we'll be back with more complaining, really. But, you know, um, some, some things, maybe, maybe. Come back. Her sister and his best friend right. are getting married. Our sisters are getting married. How dope is that? I know, I'm so excited. Oh, great. All right, let's hit it. They are getting married. Yeah. And then there's like that whole, we're homophobic fake out. Just kidding, let's all go to Australia. Could, you, like, could you imagine? Could, there's no way I can bless this union without their friends and family joining us to celebrate. In Australia! <laughs> we're getting married in Sydney! <laughs> Can you imagine? Receiving that invitation. But also, how much money did they spend on that fucking fake out invitation? Like any- Well, like, they were at like a courthouse or whatever. It they were all dressed. That's true. They were, there was production value. There it was, was a whole fucking thing. It was thing. a whole thing. It was so bizarre to me. Also, <laughs> are you gonna pay for everyone to go? Because if not, fuck you. Secondly- Yeah, I think they were. You wouldn't take your own daughter? You wouldn't send her in first class? <laughs> I'm all good on creatine and smelled like insecurity. Nothing small about me. What the fuck? Have a good flight. I'm so sorry. When her parents flew in her ex fiance Oh, oh my God. No fucking way. Honey, look who's here. To Australia. That's what I'm saying. They flew her ex fiance out, but they would, they gave him the miles, but they wouldn't use the miles on their own fucking daughter. But believe me, I had nothing to do with it. Your parents duped me. Gave me the freaking flyer miles. What? She had to sit in the middle of the middle of the plane? It's a pretty long flight. Do you want anything from the front of the boat? Hot cookie, eye mask, pajamas, last 10 years of your life. Maybe she waited too long to book her ticket because she was not gonna go and then she decided she was gonna go. Wow. Wow. When they showed up with him, yeah. it'd be one thing if it was like, we're all getting married in the small town and this is your ex-fiance from when you lived here. Sure. He showed up. Right. Australia? I well, was I was completely dumbfounded by this fact. Absolute nonsense. Um, that poor guy. Utterly inappropriate. Utterly. Like with anyway, but also yeah. everyone's naked because apparently in Australia everyone is naked. I mean it's not completely <laughs> untrue. So Australia. What do you reckon, I? How you finding it? But like it's a lot of short shorts. There was so much just that was why it was so rated R apparently. You know what I well, mean? Well, they like, said fuck a lot. I guess they said fuck a lot. But and like, he grabs his penis and that was, squishes it. I was um I wasn't ready for that. And I it was, was like weird. Ah! I would have rather that just That was him, my moment. I, like honestly. That was the moment yeah, when I was yeah. like, oh, oh my god, what I would say. Come on, mate, you know the anteater. <laughs> anyway. Give me a warning. Right? Note to self, after a long day at work, I don't need to see that. Can we talk about yeah. the stupid harbor rescue where he's just like, I mean, I know that like Australia is great and like, you know, socialism is wonderful and like, oh, healthcare. But like, I just don't think that he's going to be like, yeah, I had to get saved from this harbor twice now. Well, and they're just going to be like, Lurp. is there a bill that's going to be arriving? They use the harbor rescue and then they get home before everyone. And they sing the stupid song. They sing the stupid song. Feel the rain on your skin. Oh. No one else can feel it for you. I was happy that I had forgotten that. And then, the, then they they planned it the whole time. They were like, we are right. going to pay for the rights to this fucking song. I am unwritten. Can't read my mind. And we're going to have right. every single person sing it throughout the movie. That was terrible. So that at the end credits, right. we can all be singing it. And it's like, I don't need any of this. Yep. Staring at the plane. Before you feel the rain on your skin. Well, that song is seemed to me at least seems so dated. Yeah. It was trying to do that thing of like he's a macho, right. beefy guy, but he but, listens to who yeah. sings that song? Natasha Bedingfield. I don't know. Right or something. Is that someone? What the fuck? I guess that was funny. I I didn't think so. You know what I mean? Like that but was yes. Yeah. That was the joke. So they they get oh, right. home before everyone. No one else can feel it. And which didn't make sense. Which didn't make any goddamn sense. That boat, then, like everyone was like, there our children almost died. They would immediately. But you know what? Oh, but we couldn't turn the boat around because it's too shallow. And I'm like, you can literally just, just, just turn, turn it around. Just, just 
Just, if you're in a harbor, just turn the wigs you can, around. You can. I got it. Turn the wigs around. What? No, really. Come on, turn the wigs around. Oh, Tina, it's so different. Turn it around. But it's the perfect time because no one else is in the house, so right. they fuck. So they make grilled cheese first. Right, because they eat grilled cheese again. They're fucking, or they're like making out at least and dry humping. Don't in they take the a kitchen. shower at some point? Then wait, they wait, take a shower wait, wait. in their wet clothes from the harbor. And I'm like, so you. Oh, that silk dress is ruined. Ruined. You were. In is the, this the movie where they get their greasy hands yes, all over the on, cabinets? on the cabinet okay. window. And then and they're like, are those handprints? And the dad's like, yeah, I guess so. Dermot McDermott's okay. just like I wiping had, away. I was, it's coming back to me. Then they also, shower. can we just take a moment that it's kind of sad that Dermot McDermott is now playing like the father role in these movies? Yikes. I would prefer to watch a movie about him and Rachel Griffiths. Fucking. A I little. Would. I would. A something's got to give with them. Yes. Yeah. I would be into it because yeah. they um, have chemistry. Have chemistry. Ish. Glenn Powell and Sydney Sweeney, there was nothing going on. No. And like I kept, there were multiple times where the, and I, there were lines. My brain, and going, my brain was like, Sandra Bullock would deliver that. Oh, 100%, obviously. But my brain is going, they're both hot. Yeah. This should be hot. Yeah. Why isn't this hot? I, because he's bad. <laughs> Honestly, like, I think, first of all, okay, can we, one, not have Ryan Gosling sing or dance again? Two, put him in a movie like Did, this. I mean, he's too old for her. Right. But, um, like, he could have that charisma. I think he's charming when he's just acting. I'm on a downswing at the moment. I have I a real, like, ups and downs. Yeah, up, ups and downs. A real ups and downs. Ups and downs. downs. With Ryan Gosling, I'm in the... He's in the Anne Hathaway you're phase. You're skeevy. <laughs> you're wearing gold chains. You seem like you're wearing a lot of bronzer. You seem like you're really into yourself at the moment. And I'm not having it. Right. It will come back. Yes. It ebbs and it flows. It does. At the very moment, I'm like, I'm cool. Can you please um, retire for a year and yeah. then come back? Yeah. Um, but no, if he never, if I never have to hear him sing again in my life, I would right. be fine. Or, or if it was Arm, uh, who did we like? Robbie Amell. Robbie Amell. But we saw him in something and it wasn't good either. I'm like, who, why is it that hard to find a charismatic lead? I saw, did I send that to you? That little meme that was like, Listen, I don't give no shit on a fart about a Timothy Shalamander or that chef man. Give me just a guy. The kind of face that says you might have seen me today or maybe you didn't. The kind of person that you can't picture posing shirtless on a couch with their legs right open. It's just not in the cards. He's there, he's comforting, he's everywhere, he's, he's just a guy. I miss him. Yeah. Uh, what happened to that? But it's true. When you look at all of those movies, yeah. they're great because they're charismatic and they're charming. They're charismatic and they seem like humans. Humans. I mean, not to say that like hot people aren't, but they're just like, there was nothing going on. Can we talk about the scene when they go on a hike? Oh, I forgot about that. And With they, the koala bear. The koala. And they're all looking at this koala and he is screaming at the top of his lungs. No pictures. Put the cameras down. We're not going to take his spirit. Are there any more? Where are they? <laughs> I feel it! I feel it! They have, Ten feet away. They're in a cone of silence. Uh, it was so but bizarre. Andrew, he needed to be naked. Of course. Of course. Because his only commodity is his bidet. His, his, his bidet. Oh no, that's just a part of you. You're fine. Wait, right, look, if I have one of those little fuckers in me, they might be in you. I'm good. Well, I was like, no one would if think... If you were on a hike... Yeah. And two people who were dating. Sure. Um, we're standing on the edge of a cliff. Yeah. And he stuck his hands, not on her ass, right. but in, in her pants. Yeah. Why? What? And then she seemingly fingers him? I, she was- Because he says, was there... take it out. What? <laughs> the hover just kind of, there's a oh, man in the woods. I'm sorry. Okay, just take it out. <laughs> Why do I feel And like... did you see her nails? I feel like there was taint talk. Did I did I mis misremember this? I feel like they... well the spider and then she looks and she's like looking up his butt talking. for a while and then later he says, "Oh, 
I really like the way you put your hands down my pants or something <laughs> along. And I was like, oh, so he just loves the way that she fingers him. Those nails really tickle something in his prostate. I'm not sure. It seems painful to me, but. She was, it was like, she was giving him a prostate exam. It was a lot. It was a weird, it was really weird. Really weird. It just weird. took it so far. Like, you know, you could look at the proposal, right? The, we're both yeah. naked and we yeah. fell into each other, right? Yeah. You know, like that's set up. So it makes sense. Also, Sandra. Oh! 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 Oh, oh my Why God! Are you naked? Why are you oh wet? God. Don't look at me! Don't! Look I don't at understand. Me. Why are you I wet? Don't... Oh God! You're showing everything. Cover it up for the love of God. I mean, Sandra is the X factor. What can I say? But like, it makes sense from what I recall. I haven't seen it well in the context of that film, yes. and it's funny. Oh yeah. my God! Oh, oh, oh! And now, like, if we separate, right. we'll see each other naked. So, like, is it like you get what's happening? Yeah. This was like, why is your hand down her ass? It was so weird, and they're so robotic and, and empty, and it just doesn't work. It just didn't work no. for me. Hey guys, what did we miss? Yeah. Anyway, they're at the wedding. Yeah, it's on a bluff. Right. I, I, there's an orchid arch. I don't oh, remember. Oh sure. Yeah, yeah. There's like a weird sort of vaginal almost flower thing that they blew well, up with the stupid a, fireworks. It was a lesbian wedding. Well, so, fair. You know, fair. Yonic. Some yonic imagery in there. We'll give it to you. They get in a fight. I forget why. They're mad at each other. Because uh, the ex-girlfriend kisses him, and right. she sees it. And she's like, I'm going to go take a walk. And then she goes... Well, so she's like, I'm upset. I'm leaving. She has no pockets, no purse, no phone. Sure. Finds herself at the Sydney Opera House. And I was like, how did she pay for this cab fare? Right. Yeah, she grabs a taxi and then, you know, maybe she had her Apple Watch on and she Apple paid it. I don't she know. She was just like, uh -huh. she yeah, did not. She paid with her tits. She paid with body her tits. Body language. Never underestimate the, the power of body, body language. language. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now, if she had said that, I mean, I would have <laughs> stood up and cheered. But she makes it to the Sydney Opera House yeah. because there was some fucking stupid line, throwaway line before that that's where she would go if she was sad. She wanted to people watch. He then throws himself into the sea to Insane. be rescued So because traffic is so bad and he has to do a big gesture to get to the Sydney Opera House in time yeah. so they can make out. Yeah. And then they sing that song again. And then they sing the song again. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, Bo, B, and Ben. I mean, I get it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's it's Beatrix and ben, and Benedict in, in Much it, Ado, but... <sighs> it's just, what frustrates me is... And I feel like there was another one of these Shakespearean adaptations recently mm. where I was like, well, that didn't work. Yeah. Okay, you're going to take the setup, yeah. but you're not going to try and actually make it be Shakespeare. Ten Things I Hate About You. Exactly. Perfect example. Yeah, great. You know, those are the ones where it works, where it's like, okay, you know, we're just going to take the the overall thing the, the, and we'll make references yeah. here and there. Taming of the Shrew is so much easier to adapt, well, right? Sure. Much Ado About Nothing is so complicated yeah. and it has to be precision. Did they ever do like a Frasier Much Ado? Because I feel like that'd be really fun. I mean, every episode that's like the f f closing doors and opening doors well, and the right. first, the, the ski lodge. <laughs> the ski lodge is, yes, it's much ado. How romantic. Yes, it's enough to put ideas in one's head. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh. I should say so. Absolutely. All the hormones going around. Yeah, yeah. Not one person wanted to spend time with me. All the lust coursing through this lodge tonight. All the hormones virtually ricocheting off the walls. <laughs> and no one was chasing me. So, yeah, so I would go say... watch um, Kenneth Branagh's Much Do By Nothing. Yeah. It's much better. Yeah. Wait, what did I just watch Sydney Sweeney in? Oh. Madame Webb. Which I have yet to see, so... But will. Um, so we'll see. But she's not good. I don't I don't want to see more from her. I had I had no idea who she was. Um, I guess she's on Euphoria. I knew her from the first season of White Lotus. Okay. But she has a small role, and she delivers, like, a fun cunty line or two here and there. And you're right. like, great, love it. The thing that I like most about this movie, mm. Sydney, Australia. Yeah, look, it had all... It was beautiful. On like, paper, country. It, it had all the... Yeah. Things. Yeah. And it just did oh, not. Oh, we didn't talk about 
when the boyfriend shipped in and he's like, hey, I'm friends with her and other things. Also friends with B, among other things. You're, I don't remember that. I, I wrote the time go down, so we'll pull it. I don't the, remember the that. The tongue uh. movement, it is terrifying. It is so unsettling. Mm. It was oh, bizarre no. and a choice. Okay. So there was that. Okay. Yeah. I did love at yeah. the end <clears throat> when yeah. they sing the fucking stupid song and they go back to the wedding and it's happening still. I am they go back and the DJ, she just gives this real, like... Oh, Sydney Sweeney? No, no, no. Sydney Sweeney gives a nod to this DJ. Never seen her before. Okay. And she just goes... <laughs> and then starts playing the song. I guess it was like a... Remember that dance move it I was, taught you a all? Little bit. And it was like... Right about now, we're gonna do that dance I taught you. Show me now! Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll play the song. And then she goes, stole the whole movie for me. That DJ, I was like, yes, bitch. I kind of like want a giant wrench now. Oh, that was Just the other thing so I want to talk about say... the fucking stupid giant wrench. Did you notice that it was like on like a, a wireless oh. phone charger? And then he takes it off and holds it so in this like, scenario, a, like a sentimental piece. He's like, I gotta figure out how to fix this. My mom, I've got a channel, my mom's. And I was like, maybe if it had been like a paperweight, you know, oh, my mom gave me this little wrench paperweight so or a, a magnet like, on the fridge or something. In this something. scenario, is his mom an industrial plumber? There's no reason. It, it was a comically large <laughs> wrench. Why? Does it make any sense? Make it something that's like, Sentimental, but useful. But we don't know anything about her, so no. I guess she was an industrial plumber. She was one of those guys. Have you seen that video of like the guys with the, the big muddy overflowing thing and they both have to try and fix it? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. Okay. That was his mom. That's how she died. Yeah. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. She couldn't teach Dermot McDermott how to dive. Maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. Cheers. Thank mm -hmm. you.